who is Tina Turner? What are you really like? What's your philosophy? Mm. Well, I believe in reincarnation. I believe in harmony. And I think that uh, life should be, be based on helping others to be, to live a happy and uh, sort of secure life in whatever way it can be given. As a performer, how do you go about doing any of this? Well, I think with my performance, it's uh, well-rounded to uh, a performance to give the people out there a little bit of what they want. Like, uh, you have a mixed audience of all types of emotions and uh, hang-ups or however you could word it, right? My show is sort of geared for all of that. A little bit of laughter, dancing, excitement, a little bit of sex, and... Um, and just some real good um, ballads to sort of solve it all. understand that you are just a bundle of energy. How do you get it? Do you have a special health regimen or what is it? No, it's natural for me. I found a year ago that I had a slow pulse, which is equal to an athlete. And I, uh, there's no problem for me. It's just sort of natural for me to go and go and, uh, and tire much longer um, before when others have all passed out, I'm still going. <laughs> it's just a sort of a natural thing for me. Now, you're on your own as a single. How have you changed your act? Well, instead of it before, it was more of a sort of a rock type of show. Just coming on stage, staying on the full uh, hour or whatever, uh, just straight through, climaxing the show, going in and out. But now it's a little bit more variety. Costume changes have um, now added two males to the shows, two female, two male singer and dancer. And um, there, uh, the show sort of uh, has another extension of uh, sort of a good time ladies rag feel with a costume change right there on stage and it gives a whole feeling to the show, the changes of the costumes, the running order of the show. <laughs> But uh, being as a single is new to you. Was the change very traumatic, a traumatic experience? No, no, no. Because you see, I've, uh, I've, I've worked long before when Ike was away on business or, I mean, quite a few times I, I knew what it would be like to work alone. It was, uh, I've always been basically solo. We weren't really a duo act. Ike was just in charge of the business and the, the overall, uh, uh, the organization of the group and so forth in the background, and I was just out front. So it was the same difference now, with the exception that I'm sort of running things or with the help of others. Well, when it comes time for leisure, do you like to get in the kitchen and cook, or do you like somebody around to kind of take care of you? <laughs> <laughs> a little of both now. Sometimes I want to cook just a little. If I go to a restaurant and I'm sort of very excited about a dish, I'll go home and try it. But I've been cooking now for years because I have a family, four sons, and I sort of raised them. And I'm tired of cooking now. I want to, I want to be served. I want to be taken care of. So I do a little of both. When I feel like doing it, I do it. And I have people around me to help me do things now when I'm not really up to it. And when you're out there on that stage and you're entertaining in front of all those people, what do you, Tina Turner, think about? Only what I'm doing at the time. There's nothing ever, nothing else that ever crossed my mind except what the story is and the involvement of the story and getting it over to the audience. It's, a, it's an act for me. It's, it's a form of drama. Only uh, I'm, I'm doing vocal instead of uh, dialogue. And uh, sometimes I don't even see anyone out there, actually. It's just a whole, during the time is what I say, the cameras are running, and this is who I am at the time. On the 
serious side, do you get involved in issues like uh, uh, the civil rights movement or the women's movement, equal rights for women? No, I haven't been involved with any. I have my views, and uh, but actually I haven't participated in any of any movements at the time. I was earlier, before now, I, I was uh, very busy always recording. Now I have a little bit more time, so I, I can say that if there's any movement that I would get into, it would be something to help the younger kids. Well, you've already reached the top. Where is there to go? Where is that elusive star going to take you? What's next? Film. I'd like to get into uh, drama, into total acting uh, dialogue. Why? Because I've been singing now 17 years, and all I can do is get new songs and new costumes. I've danced. I, I think I've just done a little bit of it all, and now I would like to sort of um, conquer acting and film, to see myself, to criticize myself, and to grow there. And I think that's about as far as I can go.